Merc. I was gonna say movies, I was like a Merc. That you. Question first, blah. Wow, what is English? Fix the hair, flip it around, be a movie star. I feel like it's gonna get like in a candle and I'm gonna like die. <laughs> It's Jay and I'm here with the booktuber TMI tag. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody. The tag was created by Jix Books and there are 50 questions all related to books and my preferences and yada yada. So without further ado, let us get started. If the angle randomly changes it's because my boyfriend showed up and he didn't tell me he was showing up. So this is actually the next day and I'm just wearing the exact same clothes so shh, nobody needs to know. Question one is whose clothing style from a book do you like and I'm going to pick Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Mostly based off of the movie in which she has the hunting jacket because I want it. Question number two is who is your fictional boyfriend? I'm just gonna go with four. Because he's dreamy. That's my reasoning. Question number three is ever loved a character and then started hating them? Yes, Jeremiah from The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. I loved him so much and then he turned into a not very nice human being and now I don't like him and I like Conrad. The next question is the biggest slash longest book on your shelf and that is this one, The Decision by Penny Vincenzi. Vin 757 pages which I'm pretty sure makes it the longest on my shelf. And it also counts for question number five which is the heaviest book on your shelf. If you, you guys can feel this, it's really heavy. Really is. Question number six is, do you have any book posters? No, I don't have any posters up in my room. I'm pretty sure I have a Hunger Games poster and a Twilight poster. But they're in my basement, and I'm pretty sure they're the, like, movie adaptations, so I don't even know if those count. But if they do, then yes. Seven is, do you have any book jewelry? Um, does this count? It's a book, but th that's, that's about it. That's all I have. But if that counts, yes. Question number eight is book OTP, and that is Natalia Stolfi and Brian Lockhart from Upside Down by Leah Riley. I recently read this book and I love both of them. They make me very happy and they're a really cute couple so I pick them. Or Wesley and Bianca from The Death, but shh, that's for another question so we're gonna pretend that I can't pick them. Question number nine is favorite book series and I'm picking the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. This has been my favorite s series since I was little. Or the House of Night series by PC Cast, but that's for another question so pretend I never said that. Question number ten is my favorite book to movie adaptation soundtrack. And I'm going to go with the Great Gatsby soundtrack, just because it has Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey on it. And I love that song, so we're going with that. Question number 11 is a book that you miss or wish would continue. And I'm going to say that I miss them. That would be the House of Night series by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. I got to Awakened, and then I stopped reading them, but I have all the rest of the books, but I just don't want to have to reread the whole series because I don't remember a lot of the minor details. So I don't want to have to read eight books again to get to the 9th, 10th, and 11th book. Question number 12 is favorite standalone book, and I'm going with The Death by Coyote Keplinger. I know it's not actually a standalone anymore because she wrote a sequel to it, but I haven't read it yet, so it counts as a standalone for me right now, okay? It counts. Question 13 is since when do I read books? I've read books since I was like 8 years old, so like 15 years. I can't do math. You guys add that up. I'm 19. Figure that out. Question 14 is which Hogwarts house are you in? Uh, I don't know the houses. I'm going to say I'm in Slytherin just because it's the only one I know. But those are the bad guys, and I don't want to be a bad guy. So, Hufflepuff? I don't know. I haven't read the books. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Don't unsubscribe to me. Question 15 is what quality in a book do you look for? I would say I like funny books mostly, and I like books that I can't put down. So, like, entertaining books. I don't like when they like drone on and on and on. They're boring. Don't like them. Question 16 is my favorite book quote. My favorite book quote is actually from Winnie the Pooh, because Winnie the Pooh is... Bay. I promise you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. I think it's so cute, and it's something to live by, and everybody should follow it. Number 17 is my favorite author, and I'm just going to go with Louise Renison again because I love her books, and she's funny, so love you, girl. Question number 18 is my favorite book cover. I don't really have one, so I'm just going to go with Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss because I like it, and that's what I'm going with, so deal with it, and it's really cool, so. Question number 19 is action or romance, and can I say both? Because I like both of them. It depends on what mood I'm in. I might like romance or I might like action that day. Gotta ask me every day, and it changes, so um, I plead the fifth. Question number 20 is where do you go when you have sad moments? My bed. I love my bed. Question 21 is how long do I need to finish a book? It depends on the book. If I'm not enjoying it, it could take me a week. If I'm loving it, it could take me a day. It really depends on the book. Question 22 is how long is your morning period? I'm guessing this means for like a book hangover. So, 
I also say it depends on the book because like with the Vampire Academy book it took me like three weeks but with other books it's taken me like two days. Question 23 is what is my least favorite book and I'm just gonna go with Billy by Anna Gavalda. I recently read this book and I really didn't like it. It was really boring. 24 turn on for characters. I like when they're funny and they make me laugh and they have to be witty and really quick with their comebacks. Question 25 is turn offs for characters. I don't like when they're mean or rude or just like bratty. I don't like bratty characters like when they whine about everything and about how hard their life is. Like girl, I don't care. Get it together, Carol. Get it together. 26 is the reason why I joined booktube. I joined booktube because I just really like books and I want to share my love for them with all of you lovely people and also I just I wanted something to do and it seemed like fun so I did it. Question 27 is name a scary book and I'm going to go with Tasting Fear by Shannon McKenna. I actually don't know if this is a scary book because I haven't read it yet but it sounds creepy on the back. Question 28 is the last book that made you cry. I don't cry at books. So I don't know. Question 29 is the last book I gave 5 stars and that is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I love this book. It's so good. It it's like really different from the movie but like I really liked it and I really liked the movie so it was so good. And also the cover is so pretty. Your favorite book title? I don't really know so I'm just gonna go with The Great and Terrible Beauty because it sounds really pretty. Question 31 is the last book you read and that is Leslie's Journal by Alan Stratton. I gave it two stars. It was okay. It was. Just read my review if you really want to know. Go look it up on Goodreads. Question number 32 is the book I'm currently reading. And that is The Perfect Mother by Nina Darden. It is really good so far. Like, really good. I'm almost done. I have like 40 pages left, but it's really good. Question number 33 is the last book to movie adaptation I watched Insurgent. Yeah, Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Question number 34 is the book character you've always wanted to talk to. I'm going to go with Tallulah Cassie from the Withering Tight series by Louise Renison. She is so funny and witty, and I just feel like we would be the best of friends. Question 35 is an author you've always wanted to talk to. I'm going to go with Louise Renison. I know I picked Tallulah Cassie for the character, but, I mean, Louise Renison made Tallulah Cassie, so I feel like she has the same humor, so it would be awesome. And she's also my favorite author, so why not? Question number 36 is my favorite book snack. I really like iced coffee. Does that count? Iced coffee or popcorn? Question 37 is book world you want to live in. I'm going to go with 100 Acre Woods because I want to meet Eeyore and Piglet and Pooh and Tigger and I just, oh, I think it would be awesome. So I'm picking that. I don't care if it's childish. I don't care. Question 38 is the least world you'd want to live in. This question is not very grammatically correct, but I'm just going to go with it. The districts from The Hunger Games because I feel like that would suck and also The Hunger Games would suck because with my luck I would get picked and I'd die. Question 39 is the last time I smelled a book. I can't remember so here. It just happened. There you go. Question 40 is the best book insult and I actually googled this and it's from Mort by Terry Pratchett which I haven't read but I, I think it would be funny to read because this line is funny. And it's, it would seem that you have no useful skill or talent whatsoever, he said. Have you thought of going into teaching? And I think it's really funny because I want to be a teacher. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Because <laughs> it's so true. I don't want to be a gym teacher. I don't even want to be like a math teacher or anything. I want to be a gym teacher. And I mean like, that's just running around. Anybody can do that. But, not as well as I can, so, just saying. <laughs> I'm such a brat. Question 41 is favorite romance book. Uh, e. Uh, I don't really read romance books. I read, like, does new adult and young adult count as romance? I don't know. Does that? I don't have an answer for this. I don't know, man. Perfect chemistry, best of does that count? Not... Question 42 is do you write? No. No, I don't. You don't want to know what goes up here. You don't want to know. Question 43 is favorite magical item. Um, wand? I don't know. Question 44 is your Quidditch position. I don't know. The only one I know is Seeker, so I'm going to go with Seeker. Question 45 is name a song connected to a book. Can I go with Boom Clap by Charlie XCX because it's the Fault in Our Stars soundtrack, so that's what I think of. We're gonna go with that because I don't know. Question 46 is favorite book chat up line. Um, ooh, do you have a library card? Because I want to check you out. <laughs> Does that count? 47, have you ever used it? No, because I just thought of it now. That's the only one I can think of. Question 48 is favorite book fandom. Um, I don't. No, I'm not in any. 
on my own fandom. Question 49 is how many books do you have? I have never counted, but I'm pretty sure it's over like 300. So, a lot! And question 50 is who do you want to tag? I'll leave that down in the box below, so check that out, because it might be you. And you know what? It's you, so I tag you. Got it. Great. Good. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Alright guys, so that is the booktuber team I tag. I will see you in my next video, and goodbye!